Okay, my name is Kelsey, you're watching Kelsey Not Chelsea Not Live, and it is almost time for NaNoWriMo. So everywhere you turn, somebody is posting their tips for NaNoWriMo. Everyone is trying to be really helpful, and give their experiences, and give great ideas, and I think it's wonderful. But me? I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never won NaNo. So instead of tips today, I offer you, hopefully, a little bit of humor. So here we go in rapid fire, 30 really, really, really bad NaNoWriMo tips. Name every character Cletus. Get one of those hydration packs that marathoners wear and fill it with coffee. Call in writer to work. <coughs> Set out little bowls of Chex Mix on the floor for your family to eat. Start chapter one with your character waking up. Then have them get dressed. Then reveal that they're really just waking up from a dream and then have them get up and get dressed. Ask the pizza delivery guy if you can interview him for Cletus's backstory. For your book, don't pick one genre. Pick all the genres. Alternate between 500 word days and 5,000 word day binges. Just fall asleep with the laptop open in your lap. Instead of drafting in Word or Scrivener, just tweet your 50,000 word manuscript in 140 characters at a time. Spend the whole first week thinking of possible titles. Cletus and the cleats of us. Cletus, meet bus. Cletus want a cookie? Spend the entire second week of NaNo designing business cards. Don't procrastinate. Better start planning that book tour now. After you've written the first chapter, why not consider changing the entire book to second person present? Then change back to first person past. Then go back to third person present. Scrap the entire first chapter because Cletus has finally revealed to you that his true name is Lucille. At a minimum of two vampires. Wake up at five o'clock every morning to write your novel in bath crown on the walls of the shower. You know what? Go ahead. Send a few queries. You should probably start planning out some cover ideas. Oh, oh, try writing one perfect sentence at a time. Don't tell anyone you're doing nano. That way everyone will just slowly hate you and not know why. When you snap and scream at people, make sure not to explain. You're adding a little mystery to their life. Ooh, you could write mystery. Ignore all of your friends. Don't take any help or support from anyone. You can definitely do this completely on your own. You know what? You could always just quit. I mean, writing's really hard and it's not like you had a dream for yourself or something. It's not like you always wanted to be a writer and it's not like you plan on revising this manuscript with critique partners over the next several months, preparing and polishing it, making sure that it's perfect, adding more than 50,000 words, taking some of the first draft crap away. I mean, it's not like you were going to actually do this right anyway, right? Oh, that's not the case? You did have a plan? And support? And a dream? Huh. Well, in that case, please disregard everything you just saw and go get your keister back to work. Your NaNoWriMo project needs you. To all the NaNoers, good luck, and I'll see you all next week.